Jim Shankel is at the annual event for the NWACS, that's the Children's Shelter. We're celebrating uh, the work that they do. Jim Shankel, tell us who you're talking to. All right, I'm talking to Rachel, and the main thing we want to know about is why is it that you chose to be on the board? Why is it you chose to be a supporter of the Children's Center? And what's been your experience with it? Great. So, Jim, I've been on the board of the Northwest Arkansas Children's Shelter for four years now. I previously had attended lots of events and had learned about that the children in the Northwest Arkansas area, there were so many children that didn't have enough food to eat. They were having physical abuse and other issues, and they didn't have a safe place to go. So the shelter is a great safe haven for a short amount of time. It's 45 to 60 days where they're given food, clothing, they're loved, and there's a school on site. So what got me interested was about the fact of the school on site and how quickly that these kids can go from really not being able to read a lot, they don't know their sight words, etc., to being able to read books by the end of it, to being able to write sentences. They feel very comfortable and secure by the end of the experience, and then they're able to hopefully find really good foster homes, which happens about 90% of the time. I've been very impressed in the 10 years I've been up here about the shelter because the sorts of things, the stories that you get out of that are just remarkable. Uh, any particular story that comes to mind of a person and just the, the changes that if they've had in their life as a result of being out there? Oh, sure. There's um, tons and tons of amazing stories. We've had uh, families who've come through here, siblings, who have moved from home to home. They've come to the shelter, and because of... Um, the experience that they had in the even the limited amount of education it inspired them to go to school to graduate high school we had one person who actually graduated college and now he's working in the area and his sister is still in the area and helping out with the shelter